Hello everyone, this is Heather and we are in QuickBooks 2017. Although the version of QuickBooks really doesn't matter with regards to this tip or trick because it works in any version. But here's our scenario today. We have a customer record. Actually, we have two customer records. And I have an Allard, Robert and he has a balance of $100. And then I have an Allard, Robert and he has a balance of $1,400. $1,510. Now, what happens in these scenarios is that this is the same guy. And whatever, whether it's a spelling mistake or whether it's just, uh, you know, we didn't type it in exactly the same, we get the same customer with two different records and then uh, financial information in those different records and all of a sudden we feel like we're kind of stuck the customers getting two sets of statements and the you know we we've really messed up and how do we bring these together there is a way to merge these together and what we're going to do is we're going to take the incorrect one which is the uh, single l the correct spelling is the double l so we're going to take the incorrect one and we're going to come up here and edit that record and we're going to add the other L in so that it's going to be exactly spelled exactly commas and spaces everything like the one that's right below it when I go to click OK it's gonna say this name is already being used would you like to merge them together and we're gonna say yes and what happens is it does like a snapshot sound and then the the financial transactions in the one account merge into the financial transactions of the second account and we have a new balance and that is the coolest trick ever because whether it's with regards to customers or vendors this happens have fun